All right, YouTube. It's uh, 4.30 4 4.30 in the morning, the day after I uh, started my working on my boiler, filling it up and doing the test burn. Um, now you can see it's still steaming. What I did was let me get around all this shit here. I got tons of obstacles. I'm gonna go this way. It's easier. Don't want to spill my coffee. Oh, I'm on my way to work, but before I wanted to, okay, I gotta put my coffee down. I wanted to check this baby out. I filled it up with wood yesterday, about 7:30 in the morning. Started filling it with water. Wanted to see if it would leak, what parts would leak, where it would leak. This is not the best video. Maybe if I turn this light on, there you go. Maybe you could see a little bit better. But as you can see, it's still steaming. See the steam. Um, but that's that. I came out here and I put the thermometer in here. Let me climb up here. And it says, oh boy, you can't even see it. It says, uh, I still can't see it. Oh, kind of, maybe. Maybe not. 80 degrees. Anyways, um, this was over 200 degrees. There's the top view of it. But I wanted to see if I had any leaks and where they were. So, first thing I did was open this up. Water goes down. Open up the ash bed. And... This is what I see. A little bit of water streakage there. A little bit of streakage there. And the holes there. A little bit of wet ash right there. Kind of concerned me. I thought I had it. Now, I started this out, put the water in as it was burning and haven't touched it for 20 some hours. Other than to come out and take a look at it and see what was leaking and where it was leaking. So far, I've noticed nothing's really leaking. We'll close this back up. Second thing I looked at was the burn box. And we still have fire. Pretty cool. But I noticed that I really didn't see any spots where it was leaking. Although it still is kind of warm in there. Um, it holds the heat pretty good, but I had, after I got it going about 10 minutes in, there was some water here. I contributed to that, to this, all the way around here, see all the previous old, just condensation, I was burning wet wood. Um, that is where I think the water down below came from. I think it just dripped right over here because it was quite a bit of water in there and it just dripped down whatever now this firebox is a big firebox I completely loaded it up two and a half wheelbarrow loads of wood and uh, let her burn put in 55 degree water and I estimated it as about 700 gallons altogether. It will hold 950 gallons. That is already subtracting the volume of the firebox. So, last thing I looked at was um, go back here, and fit through these tight holes. My exhaust or my air intake pipe. I had my blower down there fucked up. I took it off last night. Um, you know, all TIG welded. All the all the water jacket is TIG welded. But uh, I uh, I took it off last night. But first thing I notice is, sorry, you're upside down now. But I have to be upside down to shoot this. Um, ice right there at the entrance to the pipe. So that got me worried. But then I looked inside there. And I see nothing. 
perfect. Sorry, you guys gotta look. Yeah, I see nothing. So, good. I'll let it sit. I work a half day today. I'll let it sit tonight, or today. Come back and muck with it some more tonight. Um, drain the water out. Grind down my spots. My three or four spots that I had a little bit of leakage. And, uh, weld them back up. Then I guess I'm going to take and put the lid on. So, in the front here I have a little bit of leakage. Right there, you can see the ice. It is only six degrees, by the way. It's coming from there. It's coming from. It's coming from right there. And it's kind of a bad weld right there. Kind of ashamed of that. I'm a union carpenter. I weld for a living. And that was kind of a fucking throw together bullshit. Last minute. Forgot about it. Had water going in the tank. But, yeah. So I'll fix that up today when I come home. After I drain it. But yeah, that's it. So, dumbass union carpenter. Wow, they're fucking got it just about all 100% right the first try. I'll, uh, Put the top of the, the lid on or the lid on it which is that part right there tomorrow grind it all down set it up there weld it all up tig weld it on there try her again so yep peace out